My name is Jeremiah Peoples. I am a self-taught software developer and I have been for about a year now and I kind of wanted to share my story on how I got started and how I taught myself how to become a software developer in just three months and I also kind of want to go over some of the hard skills and some of the soft skills you might need to get started. But to get into that story I think I need to go back to where it like all began which was in December of 2018. Um, it was about Christmas time, and my family decided to go see my eldest brother Josiah in Seattle. I knew Josiah worked for a company, I knew he coded for them, I didn't exactly know what that meant. So when I got there, I was just so taken back to see the life he was living. Like he lived downtown, he had a really nice apartment, he could take days off and just work from home, and his job had unlimited chocolate milk, which was, I think, what pushed me over the edge. I knew he taught himself how to code for the most part and didn't really go to college for it, so I thought to myself that that's maybe something I could do, maybe something I could pick up. And I had the time coming up. I knew that in um, early 2019, my job was gonna be sending me on a all expenses paid business trip to the Middle East, otherwise known as a deployment. Um, and on that deployment, I kind of knew my work schedule. I was gonna be working 12 hour days, seven days a week, which sounds bad to start off with. Like when you just think 12 hours a day, seven days a week for X amount of months, uh, it sounds kind of crazy. But when you're out there, the only real responsibility you have is that 12 hours at work. So after I figured this would be the best time, I'll have a little bit of time after work to um, teach myself a new skill. I wasn't really sure the internet situation, uh, before going out there, so I bought a book called Head First Python, and I took that book with me, and um, while I was traveling out there, I read the first couple of chapters, and that really taught me the kind of basics of coding and got me refreshed, because I did take an HTML class in high school. Um, wasn't very in-depth, but it kind of helped me, um, that Head First Python book kind of helped me put the pieces together and kind of get my head in the right space for developing. However, when I got there, I was um, pleased to find out that I did have Wi-Fi. It was one megabyte down per second, um, which is about 50 times slower than like the internet on your phone. It was slow internet, but um, I was excited because I am a visual learner and I like watching videos. That's just how I learn and I think it's important to realize how you learn and stick to that and don't let anyone else tell you what's the best way to learn. So yeah, I was doing that. I worked my 12 hour days and then I would put an hour and an hour and a half um, into the a coding course that was called uh, the Complete Web Developer Bootcamp by Colt Steele and that was on Udemy.com. It was $10 and it took me about three months to get through from uh, start to finish. While I was getting through it, I was doing my one hours at home um, or in my little barrack that I had when I was deployed until like I just started thinking about problems more and more. Like I would go to sleep with something on my mind, like a, a problem that I couldn't really get through and then I'd have a dream about it and then I'd wake up and I'd have to go to work. So I started to um, pull up like a console, a little notepad um, on one of my monitors at work and I would try to try to code out these little exercise problems that I still had stuck in my head. And um, yeah, that was, that was what I was doing for the last three months of my deployment. And it was crazy because I originally planned on doing 20 years in the military, getting out, being a chief master sergeant and retiring. I joined the military because I wanted to help people. I wanted to do everything I could for others so that others have a great quality of life, great world to live in. And at the end of my deployment, when I finished my course, I was kind of seeing like, I could do this with development, like I could do this with code. And so that at that point, I decided, all right, I'm not gonna do my 20 years in the military. I had two years left of my contract at this point. I'm going to study code hard, 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 and then when I get out, I'm gonna try to get a development job. Um, that's the plan I had for myself, uh, but that's not exactly how it went down. When I got home and I was reading through all of my emails that I missed um, when I was deployed, I saw one from a section in my unit, um, the innovation section, and they said, looking for a software developer, and I was like, hmm? <laughs> So I clicked on it and I looked at the requirements and, um, it was like, needs to know basic HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and most importantly, have the aptitude to learn more and the attitude to uh, be able to work in that environment. And I'm like, that sounds exactly like me. I, I should do this. This is destiny looking at me and saying, go for it, go get it. So I applied and I, I got the job and I've been making 
amazing applications with the innovation team in my unit. And I've just been working on uh, being a better software developer every day. I have a mentor there and he teaches me something new every single day. And actually they sent me on a, um, a six month trip to learn new concepts and principles, uh, which I'm currently on right now in um, Los Angeles. And if you get anything out of the video at all, I hope it's becoming a software developer, teaching yourself how to code is attainable. You don't have to go to a boot camp. You don't have to get your computer science degree. All the information you need to know to become a software developer is online. And that is my story. I'm making this video to kind of document my process of uh, becoming a developer and my journey to becoming a better developer and all the things that I'm learning on my path and all the things that I want to do with this career field. Very exciting career field. I love it. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm really happy these days. And that's, that's it. That's the video. So uh, thanks for signing in. Thanks for watching, hey? Um, and if you liked it, go ahead and leave a like or a subscribe because that's what people on YouTube request from the viewers, I guess. Um, and that's all. Alright, thanks for watching.